What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? You already know the vibes you made, man. Dame Drops. We're switching up the game just a little bit. Caught myself out here, man, in Indianapolis, in Indiana, at a restaurant called Penguin Point. Now, dig, baby, it's serious because, I mean, a few months ago, I was only saying, hey, the challenge is out there. If you believe your food is that good, get at me direct. My name's Javon. Javon? Yeah. Uh, I ordered the, uh, the mega double cheeseburger. Okay. So it's two patties, mustard, ketchup, onions, and pickles. All right, so the burger, the meat, season, good. It's a lot of mustard, but besides that, this is one of the best burgers you can find around South Bend, you know? So Penguin Point's 70 years old. So I'm- Is it 70? 70 years old, 72 actually. Wow, okay. So uh, I've started a couple years ago as the CEO of Penguin Point. You know, I, I love the brand. I think we've got great food. The customers in the North, Northern Indiana area, they know us, they love us. So mm. recently what we've done is we went from a frozen burger patty to a smash burger patty. Oh, is it time to drop the top on the convertible box? It has to be. Wow. Mm. That's that hot honey business right there. On your beef, man. On the beef cape, something proper. Now we have two beef patties on the inside there. See that crunchy water going on. We have our onions. Onions bring flavor to every single burger. I mean, don't you agree? Look at that right there. Look, look, look. Oh, oh. Go ahead and get your nibble first. Because I'm about to demolish this thing right here. Ooh. Mm -hmm. That soft brioche bun, you see the fingerprints all into the softness. This scene right here, you know I was here, right? The, the, the detectives, they done figured that out already. And they said you better get that brioche buttery love right there, toasted up to near perfection, that double beef beef. But what is hitting me right now in the back of the throat, Tolico's family, is that hot honey coming in with sweetness and a little bit of that donkey kick action right there, but it's not too much where you can't still enjoy the burger. Sometimes when they bring that heat, they just destroy good beef. This right here complements the beef, and that beef came in, all right? Fresh beef action. Not that frozen hockey puck that you come to expect at another location. This right here is that fresh beef action at Penguin Point. You got that crunchy water sitting up off of there for a little bit of extra crunch. If you need the extra crunch on your burger, you know me, I would have got crazy. I would have tossed some extra pickles in that thing. But that raw onion breath coming in strong. This burger right here is getting along. It is taking you places. It is helping you understand what a burger needs to be, right? Not what a burger should be, what a burger needs to be. All right, fam. Like I said, the show must go on. We are going with the barbecue tenderloin. Go ahead. Peel that thing back, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, slow, slow and easy, slow and easy, slow and easy. Go ahead. Look at that brioche bun just glistening on you. Ooh, there it is. There it is. You know what this rap rapper reminds me of? And a lot of you guys won't even know when I bring it up. But for those of you my age and older, you remember Jiffy Pop on the stove? It, it would be in this kind of type of rapper when you were sitting there, you were shaking it over the stove, and the popcorn was popping up on the inside, and you were getting all excited as a kid. Yeah, the same excitement just happened. I just, I just opened up the Jiffy Pop wrapper on you for the tenderloin. Ooh, dropping the top on the convertible box of that brioche bun action. Yeah. Sauced up something proper. Mm-hmm. We laying low on a little bit of cabbage. Uh, do I see a little bit of cheese laying low down in the basement? Yeah, we have cheese in the basement, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, with another toasted bun. Buns have to be toasted. Particular meals, your buns have to be toasted each and every time. Let me go ahead and grab this thing up. Oh. Tenderloin action, baby. I just, I can't wait to bite it. It already looks crispy. Again, soft bun is everything. That bun has to be fresh. Let's get into it. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In the field of pork, you need to understand one thing. The flavor. The flavor is like flavor capsules that are bursting out at the seams. And the brioche bun each and every time, regardless if you go with a burger, a fish sandwich, if you go with a chicken sandwich, 
it's going to be everything in the flavor department. But right here, that tenderloin, just, just let's just stop with the word tender because that's exactly it's crispy and tender, right? And the extra flavor of the cabbage coming through. And then our sauce, just again, well complimented. You're getting that savory bite, but it's going to throw you if you come in expecting something different because they figured it out, right? I never had a crispy tenderloin before. This is my first time, ladies and gentlemen. So exquisite, right? This right here, you're on the ballroom, dance floor, and you're being spun around multiple times, every single time, nonstop, and you're enjoying every single moment of it. Oh, I think a single tear might have fell from my eye. Cheesing and understanding you once again, that barbecue tenderloin. Oh, don't ever play yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, you know we're in for a special treat, right? I want you to guess what's sitting in my hand right now. No, 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 that, that, definitely not a hot dog. No, 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 no. They wanted to take it to the next level over here at Penguin Point. They said you're not just gonna get your old regular schmegler that you see on everybody else's menu. They said Philly cheese steak. You heard me, you heard me correct. Philly cheese steak, baby. You gotta open that different, right? When you're talking about the Philly cheese steak, you gotta get that Philly cheese steak diaper up off that thing. And you see how it's ready just busting out the wrapper, right? I, I mean, I don't even really have to peel this thing open. You might just go ahead and bite it as is. Oh, and that cheese is holding on. Ooh, you gotta see this. There it is, look, 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 look. Ah, yeah, yeah, family. Again, I tell you that freshness is all sealed within. And then you see everything that's happening, don't you? Mm-hmm, soft bread. Just like all Phillies come with that soft bread right there. If you get a hard Philly cheesesteak, the hard bread action, you might wanna just go ahead and give it back. Ooh, look at the steam coming up off there. Ah. Oh yeah, and oh, got your peppers, you have your onions, you have the cheese, would you please look at that. Look at that thing glistening. Oh, that ribeye I cut right there. Go ahead and drop that pop up. Just, just let it lean back, just boop, boop, boop. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I know you got excited because I got excited. We got excited together, family. Tell me a spot that's gonna serve up something proper outside of Philly, just like this. Up in your QSR. All you're gonna get is just burgers and fish sandwiches, that's it. Over here at Penguin Point, they're going to the left just a little bit. We're even getting Philly cheesesteak, y'all. I gotta get into it. Wow, I don't even know what side to get at. I'ma just, I'm just start here. What happened? Oh, you want some? I know, I know you do. Look, you better just come to Penguin Point. That's all you gotta do and, and order one. I don't know what else to tell you. Mm. Ooh. <laughs> oh, mm-hmm. Mm. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a whole entire situation. Now, I'm going to tell you something. It's rare to ever, when you're hitting that Philly cheesesteak, where that ribeye melts in your mouth. I'm talking about there was no chew outside of the bread itself. I started chewing. All I was getting was straight pepper. I got some of that bread. I was trying to get that ribeye. It just kept sliding down. And that cheese was just there, was just coddling my whole entire situation. What kind of fine cut of meat is this, baby? Yeah. And when the peppers kick up like that, that's just that extra flavor. You get the little diced up onions and it starts speaking to your soul. This right here is well connected. It knows a few people. Yeah. Yeah. Look, 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 look. I'm gonna hit you, hit you with a bench press right there on the bread just so you can see how soft it is, all right? That's connected freshness. Because when you have the type of beef, right, that, that, that meat game where it's just going in, it's sliding down, you have the peppers just sliding down with it, and then you're getting a very minimal chew, but you're getting nothing but pure flavor. That is a Philly cheese steak. And they don't skimp, man. I want you to look at our meat situation one more time. It's not like you get like a, a pinch of meat. No, they throw all the meat up off in there, right? They want to go ahead and give you that thick, thick sandwich. They want you to understand when you slide up over here to Penguin Point, you about to be in trouble when you order the Philly cheese steak. You about to get that bite of delight and you're going to have to say to yourself, oh my goodness, the last time I had something this great, I think I was actually in Philly. Hmm. Delicious. That Penguin Blaster, what are you doing with your life? Bring that thing in close. Hold it. Hold it like a loved one, right? 
Yeah. Look at that. Look, 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 look at the thickness. Look at the thickness moving around. I'm going to try to take that out on you. Oh, oh, oh. You said, Dave, don't do it to me. I got to do what I came to do. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, ooh. Family, what do we have going on right here? I'm trying to get right to the Oreo. I, I'm getting past the whipped cream. I want to get right to that Oreo action. It's sitting there. Go ahead. Look, 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 look. Crunchy and creamy, crunchy and creamy. Oh. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's extra cold. Mm. Yeah. But the flavors. If you love Oreos, you're going to love the Penguin Blaster, the Oreo Penguin Blaster. Creamy, rich, crunchy, and it pops. When I say you get a little bit of everything, you get a little bit of everything. It's a one-stop shop. You don't have to go anywhere else. You be like, sometimes you're thinking to yourself, oh, you know, I, I might want a burger from here. I might want a fish sandwich from up over there. Oh, wait, uh, my friends in the back, they want a Philly cheesesteak. All you got to do is come to Penguin Point, look at the menu, you get a little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. So what are you going to do with yourself next? You made me a dame drops. I'm over here at Penguin Point doing what it is that I have to do. I'm trying to showcase greatness to you. Indianapolis, you know what you need to do. <laughs> I need Penguin Point in Connecticut.